Hi YouTube, it's some desk. I'm just coming to you guys with today a product review. Okay, so here's the deal. I am home by myself like always. Um, not like always, but my husband's at work. And my sweet, sweet child is in the background playing with her toys, eating snacks, being a kid. So you're gonna hear a movie playing to keep her occupied. You may hear her talk every now and then, so I'm sorry. I just wanted to get this thing out for you guys. Anyways, that toy is so loud. So what I'm reviewing today is uh, Kaplan MD Beverly Hills Perfect Pout Lip Mask and Lip Balm Duo. It's supposed to hydrate, plump, and protect. So this is the casing. Um, it's gluten, sulfate, paraben, and petroleum free. Um, and it says exclusive anti-aging lip treatment duo that naturally re refines the lip contour while reducing fine lines, infusing hydration, and protecting with SPF 20 in just two simple steps. Um, so first, you're supposed to apply a generous layer of the lip mask to the entire lip contour. So one inch above the lip line. You're supposed to do it like up here. I'm not going to do that because my lips don't need to be plump. Um, expect a mild tingling effect after three to five minutes tissue off. So we're going to open the packaging. Packaging's cute. And I purchased this from Sephora. Um, they give you a little applicator and it's in this little cute Kaplan MD Beverly Hills casing stuff. They give you, what is this? Some type of instruction packet. They give you the lip balm. This is the ultra ultra hydrating treatment with the sunscreen in it. The second part to the step. Blah! I can't open it. It's a pack. Finally opened it. So now, this is the lip mask. So we're just gonna open this. Oh, it has a little ceiling on it. Oh, it smells like peppermint. That's what it looks like. I'm going to take the little applicator. Sorry, my kid's talking. We're just going to apply this to the lips. Oh, I want to do a close-up of my lips before. This has nothing on it. My lips feel really tingly. They don't hurt. It doesn't burn, but it feels really tingly. You can feel it working. I'm going to let this sit for about three to four minutes, and then I'll be right back. It's been about four minutes. My lips do feel kind of numb, <laughs> but I guess that's normal. I'm just going to wipe it off. Ugh. My lips feel like they just had like peppermint on them, so. And then it says, immediately put on the lip balm. My lips do look bigger. They feel, oh my god, they feel so much smoother. These are the results. It definitely plumped up my lips a lot. Um, I actually really do like this product. It made my lips really soft. Um, it didn't burn like a lot of those lip plumpers do. Um, and I really like it. I mean, it says anti-aging lip treatment. We won't know if it's anti-aging uh, unless we keep using it. Um, it naturally defines the lip contour. It looks like it really did that. Um, it reduced fine lines. Definitely did that. You can just feel your lips like when you before you even put the lip gloss on. You can feel that your lips are so much smoother because my lips have a lot of dead skin and generally I do like um, honey and sugar to exfoliate but I won't be doing that anymore because this is awesome. And it's infusing hydration protecting with SPF 20 in just two simple steps. So I mean 
It seems like it does everything it claims to do. Hydrate, plump, and protect. So, I actually really like this product. And it doesn't make my lips look like really, really big. But yeah, um, if you, oh, and I purchased this from Sephora and it was $23 um, online. I'm pretty sure it's the same price in the store, but I actually really do like this product. So uh, I would definitely suggest to try it out if you do have like thinner lips. I would definitely try this out and leave it on a little bit longer than I did. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.